Master Jedi, please, I have an urgent call from Organa Palace. What do you have for me? Putting the call through right now. <laughs> I'm here at the bidding of the Jedi Council. What do you need? You can explain it all later. Where do you want me? You've got to stop the Thule squads before they turn this place into a crater. I can stop them. Can you tell me any more? I saw some of the Thule soldiers on my way here. I don't know anything else. Don't let them blow us up. You smell like sweat and bradium. <laughs> the smell of hard work. You will brief him here, General. I am Duke Shar Organa, Lord of House Organa, and heir to the Chalcedoni Star. I bid you welcome. My Lord Duke, it's a pleasure to meet you. The pleasure is mine. Organa's people sleep better because of you. Not many people hope for peace anymore. Then the obligation falls to us. If Thule defeats us, the other houses will fall, and Thule will help the Empire spread darkness across the galaxy. I know you came to Alderaan for other reasons, but I need individuals of skill and valor to beat back this evil. Help us. I know a good cause when I see one. I'll help. You'll do House Organa proud, I'm sure of it. The Thule army's led by Baron Jarkus Thule, one of the House heirs, and their best duelist. They call him the Wolf Baron. <laughs> He's after the Spears of Organa. He plans to turn our own weapons against us. What are these Spears? The Spears are ancient defense turrets built into the bedrock. Not up to modern specifications, still more powerful than any walker. Perhaps. But Thule isn't expecting a Jedi. Take back those turrets however you can, before they destroy us all.
of Organa are back in our hands. My grandfather would be proud. I will not leave my troops behind, General. Do not suggest it. You have my personal thanks, Jedi. We will feast tonight and ready ourselves for the next battle. I'd be honored to dine with you, my lord. Good. We'll eat and drink and strategize and show the world we still have hope. My lord, there's a call coming in on your secure channel. Thank you, Haley. Put it through, General. It's been a long time, my Lord Duke. Who are your friends? Never mind. If they wish to speak to the Wolf Baron of House Thule, they'll do so themselves. You ordered the land bombed and the turrets captured. I did, yes. You may have retaken the Spears of Organa, but they served my purpose. Scattering your people and sending them straight into my hands. What are you saying, Baron? I'm saying that House Thule has taken 300 Organa citizens captive. I thought you'd want to know. Make your demands. We're listening. I'd like to meet in person to civilly discuss the fate of my prisoners. I'm sending a time and coordinates now. Now, in the meantime, your people will be treated well. The incident with your son-in-law will not be repeated. Damn him! Damn his eyes! Ripok nane kari maraka. Angham ja lebik mem arik. I am not a fool, but a ruler who cannot protect his people is no ruler at all. I have to go. I'm not afraid of the Wolf Baron. Allow me to handle this. You are Organa's best hope, but you will not go alone. Lead the way, and I will follow. Sweep aside the Wolf Baron's black guard, his assassins. He wants to meet. Let us meet on even terms. We'll rescue those people, and House Thule will fall. So it shall be. Thank you, General. And you, I pronounce you a paladin of House Organa, my beacon in the dark. It is your valor I salute, your word I believe. Clear the path, my friend, and let us look evil in the eye. The chance to see a Jedi in action. Well, it makes this whole war seem worthwhile. I am Baron Jarkus Thul, better known as the Wolf Baron. Is the Duke on his way, or did the old man send you in his place? Organa is on his way. Don't worry about that. Excellent. In the meantime, I have a show for you. Heronos? My name is Brant Son. I am an 8th generation subject of House Organa. My family, along with many others, was captured by House Thule. They are treating us well. Baron, what have you done with my people? Keep your duke on a leash, please. The prisoners are in a very precarious situation. I'm sure there's some way we can reach a compromise. I have 348 prisoners. I'm willing to make a trade. I'll do it, Baron. House Organa isn't going to fall without me. Ha! No! I want your friend. He will become my prisoner in exchange for the hostages. That's an amusing idea, but nothing more. I'm very serious. You're more useful to House Organa than the Duke. 
If I can take you out of commission before the next battle, why not? You can rest happily in our jails until the Republic ransoms you back, or you can have 300 deaths on your conscience. I'll turn myself in. Let the hostages go. You will not be forgotten. I swear it. Use the gas. Keep him incapacitated until the transport is ready. No movement for hours. We're secure. What's that? By the entrance. Attack! Destroy the Thule invaders and free the prisoner! <laughs> You hurt. We came for you as soon as we heard what happened. They had me sedated, but they didn't hurt me. Myself and the others. The Wolf Baron freed us when you turned yourself in. Our first duty was to rescue you. But the Thule army is on the march again. We need your help. General! Just tell me how I can be of service. We're used to fighting blasters, not the force. You have my word. The Sith will not reach the Organa estate. Go, save our house the way you saved us. Enter Jedi, and stand before me. General Kashim reports that the Sith have been defeated. The Thule forces are scattered. Our troops are containing the enemy along the coast. For this alone, your names will be recorded in the histories of House Organa. This is a victory. That's excellent news. Bring in the prisoner. I will not beg. My allies will come for me. You risked your life to save my people from this man's treachery. I put his fate in your hands. He could have killed me, but he didn't. Make sure he's not harmed. I am glad to see there is honor left on this world. You choose wisely. Take him away. My friend. I ask you to act in House Organa's name as you travel this world. Will you represent our cause? I can't pledge myself to you forever. But so long as your cause is just, I'll be at your side. Once again, I am grateful. You will always be welcome here. And the day will come when Alderaan sees peace. Until then, feast, celebrate, and hope we live to see a kinder age. Can this wait, Eno? I've got seven bioscans left. Patrols report a 50% increase in blaster malfunctions. Okay, set up a meeting with the staff sergeant. And blast it, tell me when guests are here. Acknowledged. Science Commander Kekana Herot, Regional Supervisor for the House Organa Garrison. Glad you made it. How did you know I was coming? Saw the report on how you handled the Wolf Baron and House Thule. Hoped you could help us out here, too. This area used to be a staging point against House Olgo. Usurper General calls himself King of Alderaan. But Ulgo outplayed us. You said the Olgo leader calls himself King? King Boris Ulgo. He's held off Organa and Thule on his own. Military power and dirty tricks. Alderaan has a native species called the Killix. Insects. Hive mind. Semi-intelligent. House Ulgo turned them against us. The bugs swarm, rip apart walkers, whole battalions. Is Ulgo controlling the bugs somehow? 
That's what I'd like to know. I was drafted as science commander to find the Killick's weakness, but I need a task force to get inside enemy territory. If you can capture a living specimen, I can learn how Ulgo makes the nests attack and stop all this at once. If you've got a strategy, play it out. Killicks can absorb prisoners into their hive mind. The victims are called joiners. You'd need to assault Killick territory, subdue a joiner under fire, and bring him here for interrogation. This tranquilizer will keep him docile. Assuming I can capture a joiner, is that all? Hey, we're losing this fight. If we don't solve the Killick problem soon, this place will be overrun. You're our best hope, and there'll be no second chance. Fantastic. Containment <gasps> protocols, Enno. What have you done to us? We've strayed from the nest. Good. If he can talk, he can tell us why the Killicks are attacking, and how House Ulgo is controlling them. Listen to me. You're safe now. No one's gonna hurt you. We remember when we lived among you. Before joining the kind. There was only isolation. I'm going to run some scans. Hey, tell us why the aggression. Is Olgo supplying you? Scaring you? There is such pain now. The song of the universe is disrupted. The warriors are angry, and we swarm. I don't understand. You say there's pain? We feel the agony. Your species is responsible. We must swarm. There's a lot of neural activity. He is hurting. Must be his connection to the hive mind. Not sure why. Your people drag us to your pain factory beneath the mountains. You must be dissected and absorbed. Where are the Killicks being taken? The tunnels. So close. We can sense them now. Enno, take him to a cell. When we come, you will join with us. We have our answer. Ulgo is torturing Killicks on our land, driving them against us. Take out the Ulgo pain factory, and you free up almost all our troops. Suppose you're right. What's our next step? There's a cave system nearby. Ulgo troop levels are high, and we've spotted Killicks too. Place is a death trap. No one gets near it. It's got to be the pain factory. If you get inside, destroy the Ulgo forces and contact me. Let's stop that swarm. and assume battle positions. Retarget the torture droids. Release the Killix if you have to. We can take the enemy's very best. You've done enough already. I won't let you hurt anyone else. You don't know anything about this, Jedi, and you're never going to learn. For House Ugo! For the Crown! Oh, my God. 
My favorite strike team. Tell me you found the Olgo Pain Factory. They've got quite a setup. Looks like the Olgos were here a while. Olgo's going to have a hard time riling up the Killix now. Gives us breathing room. Of course, it'd be a shame to let all that tech go to waste. But Olgo learned a few things about the bugs. The Killix are living creatures. There's nothing to learn from this sort of brutality. The Killix are animals. Smart, but not that smart. I might be able to replicate the Ulgo experiments, bring the Killix onto our side. See if you can salvage the data and equipment. Sorry, but I can't let someone else torture a sentient life form. You don't think of anyone but yourself. Fine. You should get out of there. Meet me at the command post for a debrief. The strike team destroyed the Ulgo facility. Killick attacks have fallen by 40% already. It seems putting you in charge was the right decision after all. Thank you, sir. And this must be your strike team. Always a pleasure to see you. Your science commander was planning to replicate Olgo's experiments. Is that so? We should discuss this later, commander. Yes, sir. But then... Then we strike at House Olgo itself. Thanks to all of you. I know we had our differences. But I'm willing to bury them. I've got battle plans to draw and a lot of stim calf to drink. I hope everything goes well. Be careful. You too. This war's no good for any of us, and it's a long way from over. Olgo's forces are advancing, Lieutenant. You will hold that outpost, no excuses. Crescent out. A Jedi. Thank every star in the sky. Major Crescent, 1st Organa Regiment. I'm in charge of holding this area against the usurper who calls himself King Olgo. I'll do whatever I can to aid House Organa's cause. Good. I'm in desperate need of your assistance. All my forces are committed to holding back Ulgo's army. But an important mission has just come up. I need volunteers to invade an enemy stronghold and rescue one of my people. I can't help unless you tell me everything, Major. It's my daughter, Andra. She's been captured. Against my express wishes, she infiltrated the Ulgo's posing as a lowly servant girl. She thinks she's some kind of hero. A reckless little fool. Your daughter is trying to help. What's wrong with that? She's not a spy. She's a girl with delusions of heroism. Two days ago, Andra transmitted an emergency alert. Ulgo jammed the frequency before she could reveal any information. I feared the worst. Until my scouts picked up a distress call earlier today. It's a signal from Andra. She's alive. I won't leave your daughter to die with the enemy. I will be forever grateful to you, Master Jedi. I've already lost Andra's mother and brothers to this war. If you save her, this recklessness must end. She won't listen to me, but you might convince her to abandon her foolishness. I'll reward you for that favor. One mission objective at a time, Major. Yes, of course. Andra's signal came from the estate of House Wrist, not far from here. That filth Ulgo must have turned my daughter over to the Wrist assassins for torture. Are Wrist and Ulgo allies? They support Ulgo's claim to the throne. In return, he pays them to do his dirty work. Assassinations, torture, sabotage. Please get Andra away from those filthy killers. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's far enough. One more step and the girl dies. Oh, you're in trouble now. Told you I had powerful friends. The Jedi Council and I go way back. Nice to see you, Padawan. I'm a knight, actually. Sorry I missed your promotion ceremony. Been a little tied up. I don't care who you are. You invaded the sovereign territory of House Wrist and murdered its people. Release your captive and you can live. I don't bargain with scum. Congratulations, idiot. You're about to die. Not before I end your life. Guards! <laughs> about all the nonsense before. I had to keep that flunky off guard. Nice bit of rescuing, by the way. That flunky almost killed you. <laughs> Please. I had everything under control. Glad to see Father got my signal. Escaping by myself would have been a bother. You gave your father quite a scare. <laughs> Not the first time. Won't be the last. Can't be helped. Here, take this. Give it to my father immediately. No time to explain. He'll understand. I'll find my own way out. My cover with Olgo may be blown, but I can still be useful inside House Thule. Next time, try not to get captured. I'd better go. That chaos you caused won't cover my escape forever. You have more energy than a Dreadnought reactor. <laughs> you don't know the half of it, Master Jedi. Thanks again for the assist. Get that data pad to my father on the double. Lives are at stake. I see you made it back. Andra sent me a disheartening communication. Some nonsense about spying on House Thule? Stubborn girl escapes one disaster and rushes off to another. Andra said this contains vital intelligence. You should have a look. She mentioned you were bringing a data pad. Let's see it. I recognize these coordinates. And that date. Blast, Olgo. How is he always a step ahead of us? Tell me what's happening. Unless you help me, House Organa's mission here is doomed. Listen carefully. An armored column is coming to reinforce our position. King Ulgo has learned of our plans. He hired Rift Saboteurs to destroy the armored column before it arrives. Tell your armored column to turn back. I can't. They're moving through enemy territory on calm silence. By the time I can reach them, it will be too late. The Rift Saboteurs set up camp in some nearby caverns next to a bridge. They'll demolish the bridge as the armored column crosses it. We'll lose everything unless you destroy the Saboteur camp immediately. I like a straightforward goal, and this is as straightforward as they come. Not entirely. If the saboteurs can't reach the bridge, they won't hesitate to use their explosives on you. Be ready. Done. Someday, let's retire from this Jedi business. Spend the rest of our lives having fun. <laughs>
saved House Organa's mission here. If I had a medal, I'd pin it right on you. Your soldiers deserve a fighting chance. Now that you've given them that chance, I'll make sure they don't waste it. One thing's certain, we can't afford another incident like this. It's time to implement new security protocols. If only Andra were here. Thank you again for all you've done. Goodbye. Why help the Panteers? They left. The minute the Republic disagreed with them, they up and seceded. The Panteers ruled Alderaan for the past century. If they're still alive, no one takes the throne without their blessing. Ah, I was hoping you'd make your way here. Major Crescent told me of your actions at the bridge. How long were you listening? Are you aware of the situation with House Pantia? Former ruling family, we need their support. Anything new? After the last Pantia Queen's death, Boris Olgo invaded, slaughtered the entire bloodline. Until a few days ago, we believed he'd wiped them out. However, we have new intelligence that some of the Pantia survived and are in the mountains. So that's good news, right? Except that Boris Olgo knows it too, and he's massing strike teams to finish what he started. And the Republic wants us to risk our lives to stop them. The Republic must stand against genocide, Captain Skov. But the troops I sent never returned, and our reinforcements won't be here in time. Let's see how these strike teams like fighting Jedi, instead of defenseless nobles. I suspect they won't have long to make up their minds. The Olgos will be staging their move into the mountains for the assault by Therata. To track down the strike teams, look for their transports. Good luck. for taking on those strike teams. I think that's the last of them. There aren't many who'd take on such a dangerous mission on short notice. Republic owes you, but not half as much as House Pantier. Has Boris Olgo called off his attack? The attack is off, for now. But no one in Alderaan is safe while Boris Olgo holds the throne. I've received word from Kate Pantier, the heir to the house. She'd like to meet with you. House Pantia's current location is well guarded and not common knowledge, but the Brass is granting you temporary clearance to visit. I'll speak with her as soon as possible. Thank you. The Pantiers owe us, you, their lives now. It's crucial this goodwill lasts long enough to get a Republic government on the throne. Still sucking up, even after they turn their backs on the Republic in its darkest hour. Politicians are like planets. They orbit around whatever glows the brightest. But that's the game here. If we don't learn to win it, the Empire will. Thank you for your service. Now is the time. The longer that Tick is on the throne, the deeper he digs into Alderaan's veins. I don't disagree, it's... Our savior! I am truly honored to welcome you to House Pantir. I am Princess Kate, the closest excuse for an heir we have after that monster Ugo's work. I was told it was urgent that I speak to you. I need your help. Pull my family's butcher off our throne, and I will throw my support behind the Republic's choice of ruler. As I was telling Commander Bedell, conventional force won't win this. Boris Olga's army is a match for the Organas, and what remains of our Queen's Guard. The only chance is for a small force to enter our estates and take the usurper on. No one should profit from such crime. He should die twice over for every person he killed. Boris Olga's barricaded himself inside the throne room with his most elite guards. Kill him. As long as he lives, he's a threat. That is not necessary. The man served the Republic for 20 years. Capture him, and he'll receive a fair trial off-world. The world will learn of his crimes, and know he was judged fairly. Thank you. If you are to face him, 
You're the only one who can make that choice. But do not trust him to yield the throne alive. This is the private access code for our house's inner sanctum. For what you've done. For what you will do. We must trust you with it. Use it to wrest that dog from our throne. And House Pantier will be forever grateful. So, I wondered who would be the first to try for the seat. I didn't expect an off-worlder. Who sent you? The Organas? Those broken fools, the Pantiers? What's your stake in this? Alderaan will not fall. To the Empire, or to you. Has the Republic forgotten? I won the Battle of Rordak by personally boarding Moff Scepter's battlecruiser. What did the Pantiers ever do except abandon the Republic when the Senate faced a tough decision? The Pantiers' folly has allowed the Thules to return. If I had not stepped forward, the Empire would have Alderaan. You can't fight the Empire by becoming just like them. I did what I had to. Do you think that fool Gaul Pantier could have held off the Empire? You have no right to judge me. This is my world, and I'll die before I see it in someone else's hands. Arms, men! Defend the throne! For Alderaan! I'm the only one with the strength to defend Alderaan against the Empire. No one will judge you except by the evidence of your actions. And when Alderaan falls to the Empire, and our people are sold into slavery, who'll judge me then? Lock him in restraints. There's a transport outside. Congratulations. 
Not many people can say they brought down a king. Commander Bradell will want to thank you himself. Report. I hope you've got a strong holding cell on the ship. Oh yes. I'm sure Boris Olgo was not one to go quietly. You've done more than the combined might of the Empire and Republic could. Freed the throne from Boris Olgo. But it will still be a fierce battle to keep the Empire from consuming this world. We must defeat the Empire everywhere its tentacles creep into our galaxy. I know you have dedicated your life to ensure this. I cannot hold you here any longer. Thank you for your service. Alderaan is one step closer to freedom because of you.